today we're going to go ahead and take a look at how we can create a list for activity 2.3 playing with lists. For this app we are creating a charades game. So we're going to focus on how we can actually create a list so that later on we can go ahead and randomly select one of those actions that have been stored. In our previous tutorial we took a look at two types of lists. One being a static list and the second being a dynamic list. For this activity, we're going to focus on using a static list or a list that saves preset data. So let's go ahead and take a look at the steps that are needed in order to create a list in our MIT App Inventor app. The first step that we're going to need to do is initialize a global variable. For our example, we're looking at calling our variable hobbies. So once we go ahead and select our variable, the next step for this is going to go ahead and adding a list block to our global variable. That list block is going to be called make a list. Now you will notice that our make a list, we only have two options. Now if you need to add more options to your list, the next step is to go ahead and use that blue setting or mutator tab and bring in additional items for that list. You can have as many or as few items as you would like. For our activity, we're going to focus on adding about six items to our list. Something to keep in mind when using a random item from a list is that the more options you have, the better chance you have of not repeating an item when it's being randomly selected. Once we go ahead and have our list, our next step is going to be to go ahead and add some text boxes to that list. In those text boxes is where we're going to go ahead and place our actions. So in this case, we've created a list by initializing our global hobby variable to make a list. And in this list, we have five items, drawing, mini golf, soccer, jumping rope, and skateboarding. We're going to follow these same steps in order to create a list for our charades game. So the next step that we're going to want to look at is going over to MIT App Inventor. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can actually create this app in MIT App Inventor. Once you have opened your charades game app in MIT App Inventor, the next step is to go ahead over and open up your block view. Once you have opened up your block view, you're going to want to find an empty space on your mat where you can create your list. Step one was to go ahead and create a global variable. So we're going to go ahead and select our variables and bring this initialize global name into our mat. Now, once we bring that into our map, the next step is going to be to go and create this list or give it a name. Since this is a list of actions, we're going to go ahead and call this word phrase list. Since we have a word phrase button, that is going to call that action. Once you've gone ahead and initialized that global variable, our next step is to go to our list drawer and find the block that says make a list. Once you make your list, we can use that blue mutator tab and go ahead and drag that item block in to create as many list items as we would like. We're going to go ahead and stick with six list items for right now. Again, you can add as many items as you would wish as you move forward with this app. Now, once we go ahead and create our list, we then need to go to our text box. And from there, we're going to go ahead and drag an empty text box in. We're going to need six of these to drag into those little placeholders. And once we go ahead and add them in, now we can go ahead and fill in our actions. So for this, we can go ahead and select any actions that we would like. So for action one, I'm going to go ahead and place in, let's go bowling. Uh, let's throw a tough one in there, like building a campfire. Let's go with having a food fight. And then we'll do making a pizza, jogging, and let's do one more like soccer. Now again, you can add any items you want to kind of make it more personal to you. There's lots of lists on the internet that you can use that can help you to come up with some of these ideas, but try to be creative when creating your list for this app. Now that you have your list, the next step would be being able to call one of those phrases. So in our next tutorial, we're going to take a closer look at how we can actually access the information that is stored in that app. 